everyone. Welcome to Pearl's Kitchen. Today, let us help each other to fulfill our God-given destiny. Amen. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a very elaborate vegetable biryani. Now, this is easy and simple to make. It's got a lot of ingredients, but once you've made it, if you're having a party, this will be a real hit with your guests. But before I go on to the ingredients, can I remind you for people who haven't subscribed to please press the subscribe red subscribe button and also the notification button so you'll be notified for my upcoming videos and for the people who have already done so to you i say a big thank you okay for the ingredients for this biryani in the pot i've got three tablespoons of ghee you could make it with oil if you want but it comes tasty with the ghee and the rest of the ingredients here i've got 500 grams of basmati rice that i washed half an hour ago three four times i washed it and then i'm soaking it with in water we'll also need a pot of water i'll tell you as we go along what we're going to do so 500 grams of rice that's nearly around three cups of rice and this goes into the rice so they're all like in bits and pieces so we'll need cura essence and cura water and we need some oil that goes in the in the water for the rice we've got around three bay leaves i've got jiva tree that's mace and whole mace that we can take that out later but two black cardamom i've got around eight to ten cloves and i've got around six green cardamoms that i've popped open i've popped open them both and i've got two onions that i've sliced and here i've got three bay leaves uh, three green cardamoms two black cardamoms and around six to seven cloves and one teaspoon of jeera and I've got a heaped tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. And here I fried four large onions and freshly fried because I ran out of my stock of fried onions. So I just did a small batch this morning. So that you keep separate. And I will need green cardamom. This is some biryani powder. I'll tell you how much we'll use later uh, that you get in an Indian supermarket and we'll need some ghee that's all for garnishing and now for the masalas here i've got one tablespoon of dhania powder that's uh, coriander powder and i've got one teaspoon or one tablespoon of biryani powder that's the same mixture there and one teaspoon of red chili powder one teaspoon of kashmiri mirch that's for color i've got a quarter teaspoon of haldi that's turmeric i've got half a teaspoon of jeera jeera powder that's cumin seed powder and i've got half a teaspoon of garam masala we need one cup of yogurt and i've got around five to six green chilies that some i've sliced some i've just chopped you can use less if you want and because it's a vegetable biryani you can use as many vegetables you want i've got a cup full of uh, peas i'm using frozen peas and i've got half a cauliflower cut into big pieces and i've got two carrots and I've got a cup of green beans and I've got around six uh, mushrooms that I've sliced and I've got one potato that I've chopped it's soaking in water and I'm using two uh, bangans that's brinjo I'll cut this later because I don't want it to change its color so I'll cut it at the last minute and in this plate I've got made three portions of mint I'll show you as we go along what we do with it so that's mint and three portions of green coriander and we've got some cashew nuts that I've split open and we'll need some salt. Now to, to begin with, as soon as your ghee gets hot, you put the garam masala first. Give it a stir and as soon as it starts to sizzle and pop, you put the uh, cumin seed. I'm using shahi jeera, you could use the ordinary cumin if you want. And straight away after that, put the onion. Now keep frying the onions till they're nice and golden brown. Now as soon as your onions start to get golden, 
You add the ginger garlic paste. And now you fry that for two to three minutes. Okay, the ginger garlic has been frying for two to three minutes. I added a dash of water in there because it was starting to stick. Now we add the green chilies. And the gas is on medium at the moment because we don't want it all to burn. And give the green chilies a stir. And then you add all the dry masala now in there. and add a little bit of water, so around two tablespoons of water. Uh, keep the gas on medium. You don't want the masalas to burn. Put a little bit of more water. And now let the masalas fry for at least four to five minutes. While the masalas are frying, I've just put the hot water on, the gas on for the hot water. So in the water, you put all these dry garam masala that was on this plate and the two to three tablespoon of oil. And also put some kira water in there, in the water, say around two to three teaspoon. That's all. Now you wait for this water to come to a boil, put the lid on. And as soon as the water starts boiling, uh, put it on simmer and let it uh, come to a rolling boil for 10 minutes for all the flavors to go into the water. Yeah. While the water is boiling away now, started to boil, for, to release all these lovely flavors that's going on in there. And the masalas has been frying, you can see it's not sticking anymore. It's been frying for at least 4 minutes now. So we're going to add the, all the vegetables now. And the bangam that I left for last, I'll cut them in there. You can just cut them into big chunks. So now you need to fry all this vegetable in the masala on a high flame for at least three minutes. Now that the vegetable has been frying for three to four minutes, we can lower the heat and now we need to put one portion of the mint and one portion of the green coriander. And stir that in as well. And now that you can see the vegetables will start releasing its juices once you put the gas down a bit. Because once it's fried, now you need to add the salt. Salt to taste. Say around a teaspoon and a half. And then you need to add the cup of yogurt. And keep the gas on a low flame and now you need to put the lid on and let the vegetables cook in its own juices for at least 10 minutes okay now the masalas are cooking the vegetables are cooking in the masala and on a medium heat with the yogurt and all so make sure that the vegetables are crunchy and not overcooked so while that's uh, cooking you can see the water is boiling so now we need to take out all the garam masala that you can because that garam masala, we don't want too much of garam masala coming into every mouthful that we eat. So that we only need it for flavoring. So take that out as much as you can. That's the meat. And now you add salt into the water another piece of garam masala floating around okay add some salt in there like around 
two, t two teaspoons of salt, doesn't matter, we'll, we'll drain all that, so don't worry, it's just so, the, so that the salt goes into the rice. Now, the rice I've already drained, so just add the rice in there. And now we need this rice only 85% cooked, so don't overcook the rice. If you time it, it should be, shouldn't be more than five to six minutes. Okay, now we can see our vegetable has had its 10 minutes. And like I said, make sure the vegetable is not overdone. Leave it like crunchy, because it'll cook the rest of the time in the biryani when the rice is put in there. Now we're going to just separate half the vegetables, put it in a bowl and keep the other half in the pot itself. And now let both this vegetable just sit aside and let it rest. Okay, our rice is now 85% done. That's how we need it. And now we just need to drain off all the water and keep the rice aside. Now all our vegetables are ready and all the rice is also 85% cooked. So now we just need to assemble all the biryani. So there's already half the vegetables in there and the other half's in the bowl sitting there. And now we can start layering the biryani. So on top of the vegetable, the first thing we need to do is put half the rice. And then take a spoon and just level out the rice. And then we start adding other ingredients to it. You take some color, you could use saffron if you want, a few pinches of yellow color here and there, put over the rice. And then you take the coriander, just one portion of it and sprinkle the coriander on top of the rice. And then same you do with the mint, only one portion. Then you take the biryani mix and just sprinkle some biryani mix powder, say around half to one teaspoon. And then take some cashew nuts, half the cashew nut and just put some cashew nuts over the rice. And then take some green cardamom powder, say one or two pinches and sprinkle that over the rice. And then take some cura water and a few drops here and there. Put cura water in there. That's very essential in biryani. And then drizzle some ghee, one or two tablespoons of ghee. And then always the last layer should always be the fried onion. That's the most essential part of the biryani. You need fried onions for this. So that's one layer done. And then we start the same again. We start the second layer, but this time we start with the rest of the vegetables. So put the vegetables on top of the onions. And then we start with the rice again. The rest of the rice goes on top of that. Again, take a spoon and level it all out. And then we start with all the other rest of the ingredients. You can change it around. You can put some biryani powder now. Doesn't matter which one you put first. Then you take some color, yellow color. And then some cashew nuts rest of the cashew nuts you put, and then green coriander, and then the mint. Some green cardamom goes in now. And then some cura water. Drizzle it with some ghee. And then again, last on the top, you just put the onions. The rest of, of the onions that are left, just put them all over the rice. Okay, now that the biryani is all assembled, we now need to put the biryani on the dum. If you've got this mesh 
uh, thing that reduces the heat and stops the rice from burning you can use that if not make sure you put the gas right down and now we're going to cover the biryani you make sure that no air escapes so i've got tin foil here if you, if you don't have tin foil, tin foil just put the lid back on so but it i prefer to do it with tin foil and then put the lid on it and then you put the full biryani dekchi onto the fire don't touch the biryani let it cook for 20 minutes okay our biryani has had its exactly 20 minutes now we're going to turn the gas off and we're going to open it it actually smells so beautiful and now you just take a big fork and just fluff up the rice a little bit so you get a mixture of all the vegetable and everything nicely evenly look at that really really is delicious yeah just fluff up the rice and that's your lovely biryani we're going to serve it now that's the biryani done and dished that's how it should look like you can serve it either in the bowl or on a tray and you could put some cashew nuts for decoration and then you look every grain of the biryani is absolutely separate and looks delicious and absolutely tastes and smells delicious so and this goes very well with the raita I've made cucumber raita and I'll put the link of the cucumber raita in the description box because I made this also earlier with the lamb biryani and for now I'm going to go and enjoy this um, biryani, vegetable biryani with the cucumber raita. When you make it, don't forget to write on your comments what you thought of it and till then I shall see you next time with some more delicious cooking.